Hello and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, episode number 8. Yeah, I think this should be episode 8 if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, in the last episode, we cleared out the dungeons of the Fort Joy Castle. It was fun. And uh, today we are going to be starting into the marshes. The swampy swampland. And what I would like to do is head over to this area because there is a town over there that I would like to get into so we can sell some of this extensive amounts of garbage to the vendors there. Because my bags are just like bursting with crap. It's really ridiculous to be honest. I just styled my hair but it was hard since my hair is a bit curly. Oh, well. My hair is a bit curly too and I can totes relate to that. Um. That scent, unmistakable. How did not? Come on, girls. Come on. It's just a little fire. You got magic armor. You'll be fine. So here we have. You hear a dry cackle Hello. from the platform above. Turning, you see a rickety corpse staring down at you. Mm. So there is still fresh meat slithering around this mire. Our master will be pleased. Uh, surely she means Brachus Rex. Tell her he's dead. She does not serve him anymore. The skeleton laughs, its ribs shaking and clacking. Do you think I miss the centuries passing? The beast may be rotten as I, but his curses remained, at least until our new master arrived. Now we are free. Now we serve a higher purpose, a glorious mission, and neither you nor your kind will stand in our way. Um... I don't oh, care about your plans. You little child, you know nothing of the wheels that turn around you, but they shall spin no more. My lord wishes you dead, and it brings me joy to grant that wish. Okay. Um. All right, so we got to fight this bitch. That's fine. Can I blink up to you? No. Let's go ahead and give haste to Losa. Clear mind to Losa. Let's move up for as far as we can with one AP. We're gonna teleport you down to Losa. And then we will put Chameleon Cloak on ourselves. Pretty happy with that. Ah! We have bonus undead. Cool. Hey, stop copying me, bitch. Alright, you are going to... Try and hit that invisible one. Like that. Nice! Got him. Then let's just beat up the old lady on the ground. Like a good person. She's almost dead. And let's just finish her off. Come on. Let's start in on this Le Skeleton. Uh, haste ran out. No, it didn't. Not yet. So we're going to encourage. Damage, no problem. Let's get behind this chap. Behind this chap. Let's open up with a saw too. Ooh. So that bypasses armor from stealth or something? Not 100% sure how that works, but it did a lot of damage, so I'm happy. At some point, I should probably watch a guide for rogue characters and figure out how to play them efficiently. <laughs> Oops, wrong character. You fight him. Go ahead and just knock him down. Cool. And you can't move, I'm crippled, gotcha. 
So what does Rupture Tendons do? That should be enough to get through his armor. And then we'll turn him into a chicken! And give him a little stab. Get behind him again. Finish him off, easy peasy. And we should be able to kill this guy, no problemo. Diseased. Hmm, gross. Alright. Easy fight. Looks like we're about halfway to level 7. Ooh. A light golden teaspoon. Fancy. You have a nice belt. Thanks. We'll take that. And back on to what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted. There's a chest over here that is definitely not a trap. Definitely not a trap. Hello. A severed head sits rotting on a stick. The last vestige of an ear juts from above its too prominent jawline. A fly buzzes about its nose. Mm -hmm. Its eyes open. It looks at you. When it speaks, it struggles to move its impaled jaw. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but hear this. Don't own the chest. Don't own the chest. Whatever you do, don't own the chest. Uh, tell him he looks great. Ask if he's lost weight. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Tell you what, I changed my mind. I owned. I own change a heart. <laughs> tell him you'll have to head off. <laughs> he gives you a look that says, Really? You went with that? Oh. Tell him you're sorry, but he's a pain in the neck. He rolls his eyes. <laughs> Tell him you're reluctant to leave, seeing as he's no body to talk to. His look turns to one of contempt. <laughs> Tell him you have to leave. Ask him if he's sticking around. He grits his teeth in anger. <laughs> Ask if he's okay. He looks like he might have a headache. His look now carries pure hate. <laughs> oh my god! I love the gesture options. They're great. Tell him you don't mean any offense. Ask if you can part as friends. Offer to shake hands on it. His eyes dart around. From grass to tree, tree to sky, back to grass. He's pretending you aren't there. <laughs> Tell him you refuse, or you realize you've offended. Apologize, you make jokes when you're nervous. If he doesn't like it, he can always stick his fingers in his ears. Oh! The severed head closes its eyes, pretends it's dead. <laughs> you grin to yourself and turn away. <laughs> oh, that was fucking magical. Alright, so this... This just does that when you open it. Ideal? No. But, you know, we have magic armor, so it's really not a big deal. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. I know. I know. The ground is exploding. It's very scary, but we got things to do. Oh, this is always a fun fight over here. We've got some Void Woken to kill. And if I recall, Void these Woken. things give you like a crazy amount of XP. You get like a thousand XP per kill, which is weird because they're like super easy. I have no armor. Yeah, a thousand XP per kill. Like, what? Okay. Fucking deal. Put haste on Losa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they just like keep spawning for a while. This world is ours. <laughs> you're stupid. You lit yourself on fire because you're dumb. You big dumb worm. Pass away. Sorry, grub. Your time is up. 
wash the burning, hang the thieves. Hey, it's rude. Ours, ours, you are ours. I am nobody's. I am a strong, confident woman, and I don't need no grub. You bitch. Probably stun two of them with that. Let's just come over here and backstab this chap. And let's give peace of mind to Losa. Give her a little bit more damage. Nice. Nice moves. Kill that one. Kill that one. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, let's just... Encourage... Give ourselves some physical armor. We'll just let them come to us. No need to run all over the map. If we don't have to. Where are you? We are the beginning and the end. Uh -huh. <laughs> stupid. Now you're on fire because you're stupid. Because these guys have no magic armor, you can do a lot of work on them with fire damage. They can keep calling us vermin, but we'll just keep putting them down. Example, do I have any fire scrolls? Fireball scrolls? I do have fireball scrolls. <laughs> Skaboosh! <laughs> so they're gonna take a lot of fire damage from that in the course of the rest of the fight. Uh, let's go... Sure doesn't hit that many, does it? Well, that's positioned right here. I think we can hit four with that. Nice. And then we will do a charge over to here, hit the rest of them. And tactical retreat back to the center, give ourselves haste for next turn. Clean it up. Easy peasy. This little scrub over here. Last one to the party. Wolf, did you look at the link I sent uh, to you on Discord? Uh, was that the music link? I did not check that one out yet. It is on my list. I did not forget. Um, and I shall. Assuming you're talking about what I think you're talking about. Yeah, bitch. Greet the reaper for me. Yeah, greet that reaper. You tell him, girl. Backstab him. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh, baby. Is this really on tactician mode? Because it just seems so much easier than I remember tactician mode being. For clear skies. Yep. Elf child. The corpses of voidlings lie in heaps around you. A miasma of cursed fluid pooling at your feet. Uh we were caught with our pants down to use a dwarfed expression. This mustn't happen again. I feel like we did uh we did great. Jolly we good fun. Can't get caught up in another battle like that. They're only getting worse. Sure we can. Wish I could do that battle over and over. Not only was it fun, it was easy. And it gave a shit ton of experience. Silly girl. Take that shadow essence. Yeah, the music. Uh, yes, I, uh... I will definitely check that out, good sir. There were some things I had to do after the stream, so I got distracted, but... I will get on the Discord after this stream and go check out your link. 
Right, so we need to get down here. And then we will have access to the next town. Gong. No sooner have you rung the ornate bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Hmm. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister, or draw one last deep breath. Hmm. Mystic, pay no attention to her challenge, but say there is a presence here. A divinity is reaching out to her you. eyes go wide with wonder upon your mentioning of a divinity. No magister could sense the spirit of the goddess. Only a true sorcerer could, blessed with senses greater than our worlds alone. I apologize for the steel-tipped welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful that was easy. motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the Sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Oh gee, thanks! Alright, we definitely want to rob her. She has got Huntsman books. And I want to, to get Bandage. Amadia's oh, I already have first. Did I already put points in Huntsman on you? Where are you getting that point from? From gear, okay. So we want another tactical retreat book. So let's have Losa. You are fortunate to have talk to her. Let's have you sneak around. Book saved to be on the safe side. So we want another tactical retreat book, and then we'll just. Uh, Take the rest of these books to sell. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh god. Oh no. Uh 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I have too much shit. I have too much shit. She's gonna catch me. Oh god. She's gonna catch me. Ah! Um uh, try and talk your way out of the situation. Here's 87 gold. <laughs> Thanks for cooperating. I appreciate you. You're fortunate to have found this place. <laughs> no marshes, swallow life I want my 87 gold back, yo. Here, take these shitty pairs of pants and sweaty shirts. And this dagger. Here, I'll even throw in a little bonus for you. Hey, thanks for my gold back. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, we have found the next town. Let's talk to some traders. Try and find. Am I talking to the child? No, I don't want to the talk to you. The pair eye you with hope, mm. though their hope is tinged with mistrust. The lizard notices your collar and steps towards you. You've come from Fort Joy. Can I ask you? Did you happen to meet a man named Gareth on your way here through the swamp? Uh, nope. Be back, Samadel. I know he will. He has to. Yep. He has to, indeed. We need our leader. And if he doesn't return with help soon, we have to hope. Uh, I wonder what help Gareth could bring them. Uh, ask if Your I could help somehow. Mother. But you'd best talk to Gareth's squire, Exeter. He'll know where your talents can be most used. No, uh -huh. Han. Let's take a look at your nasty leg injury. Catch you later, stranger. Alright. So we gotta go save their leader, Gareth. Which is fine. Will you fucking hold still Someone so I can trade with you? And attention is wholeheartedly devoted to tending Han's leg. You have no gold. You have no fucking gold. You are useless. Mm-hmm. The young woman chews her lower lip as she observes the injured before her. Do you have any gold? No! None of you have any goddamn gold. How am I supposed to get rid of my shit if you don't have any gold? She bends to grab a rag, wiping her blood-smeared hands. She looks up and sees you. Uh -huh. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much I can do. 
Uh, looks like you have a lot on the your plate. Rings the blood-stained rag in her hands anxiously. Magisters aren't known for their mercy. Many of us died, and the ones here will likely follow the same fate by a slower road. Mm. Anything else I can do to I've help? I've done all I can. Their wounds are too great. All I can offer them now is prayer and a cup of water. Uh, can I help? If you know a way, I'd be beyond grateful. Do what you will. Just don't cause them any more suffering. Sure. I got some healing spells. Claude, turn your head if you can hear me. Hey. In an instant, my wounds have all but vanished. I, I didn't think I... I was certain I wouldn't. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yep. I wish I had a fitting way to thank the person who saved my life. As it is, all I can offer is, well, it's not much, but maybe you'll find some use for it. What did he give us? A thank skill book? You. The fog is lifting. Huh. Uh, he gave us bleed fire skill book. Polymorph Pyro Hybrid skill. Interesting. Let's see what we can do for the rest of these guys. You, you healed me. Yeah. How did you? Oh, never mind. I don't care how. I only care that today won't be my last. <laughs> yeah, I got you, fam. Twenty gold. God, you're all useless. If my mother were here, she'd box my ears for not being able to thank you properly. Though I reckon that walloping from the Reds was punishment enough. Take this, at least. It'll have to do. <clears throat> Thank you. Got a necklace. I'm healed. Uh, Eleven magic armor, not anything too exceptional. Leave me be. Let's help this guy. We are fortunate indeed to have you. You've healed us. All of us. I owe you a thing. We all do. Alright. Thanks, guys. Please. What? Alright. Let's try and find a trader that has some actual fucking gold. A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps. Ooh. His face a tight skull of frustration. You have gold. All right. Already know, already know, already know, already know. Oh, a leg upgrade. Get a little bit of dodge, a little bit more armor. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Uh, those are about the same. Not worth the effort. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the Nope. The seven watch showed us. Safe That's an upgrade right there. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Not much of one though. Eleven to twelve plus one to dual wielding. Yes, please, magical dwarven dagger. I will take that. And do we want any of these polymorph skills? No. No, I think we're good. So let's just sell some shit. We got too much stuff. Let's get rid of that, 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 that. These, that, 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 that. Get rid of some of these weapons. They're probably super heavy. Not gonna use arrows for anything. We'll hang on to the necklaces for now, because we will soon be able to equip necklaces, which will be very nice. Um, yeah, that looks good for her. Let's go ahead and accept. And you. Shit. Smoke, smoke. 
I know some of this has worth and value, but honestly, I just couldn't be bothered. Oh, you've got so much stuff. Those books. Almost there. And good. All right. Cool. We've cleared out our inventories. Objective complete, or at least for the most part. Let's see what this guy has to say. Every approach blocked. Damn it! What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? I am Losa. Losa, eh? On the run from Fort Joy, are you? Yep. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Though, of course, your collar gives you away. I want to escape the island. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. Yep. Yeah, the Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called shriekers. Mm -hmm. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. What are shriekers? They were sorcerers once, but after whatever perversions the Magister subjected them to, they're death incarnate. If they can see you, they can kill you. Instantly. Yikes. After we retreated here, our leader, Sir Gareth, set out looking for some ancient weapons that could counter those things. Then we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. Why didn't you go with him, but stupid? he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. Okay. Um, these guys are the ones who can take our collars off, but I don't think they'll do it until we save Gareth. A dwarf stands by a young woman. But let's see. He seems intensely focused on her, whispering and singing softly in her ear. She's staring blankly into space. Blood and bone. Fire and smoke. Death and... And worse. Hush now, Leia. They'll not hurt you again. You're safe now. Once Gareth gets back, we're going home. You'll see. The woman rubs her neck, raking her nails across her skin as she whimpers. Uh, sit down next to her and hum a melody. As you hum, her rocking slows. She starts to fall in with the rhythm of your voice. Uh, lead into song about a rabbit and a mouse. About two companions, one dark and one fair separated by a wide sea or hero from a lush green land uh, let's do rabbit and As mouse you sing, she rocks rhythmically to your beat a faraway look in her eyes and your song with a rhyming verse and the pair did rest a while beneath a tree they lay rabbit turned mouse and smiled tomorrow they will pay um, then came a hungry fox and bit them both in twain. Their blood dripped down his wicked jaw. He reveled in their pain. Oh, that's fucking brutal. I love it. Let's As go with the nice version. Ends, she stops moving. She's calmer, still, and quiet. Well, at least she tried. And I've got my thanks for that, friend. The dwarf starts to sing softly as the woman rocks slowly in her seat. Alright, so she'll take our collar off once we save Gareth. I think there's another vendor over here. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging yes. the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted. Um. What have you got? You got some blue legs. Did I just buy an upgrade for her? Constitution or dodge. I think I'd rather have the green legs, honestly. And another magical dwarven dagger. This one has a rune slot in it. So you've got...
got... Griff's Potato Peeler. Let's see. Seven... That's nine to eleven. So I think another Magical Dwarven Dagger would actually be an upgrade over Griff's Potato Peeler. So we'll take that. And we'll take a small Masterwork Rune. I'm not sure if I have one yet. So we'll just buy one to be on the safe side. And then he sells Summoning and Necromancy. Cool. Alright. See if we can get rid of any more junk. We definitely have more to get rid of. We've got a bunch of wands we're never going to use. Daggers. Arrows. Intellect gear. Uh, shitty rings. More intelligence gear. Still has a hundred gold. 50 gold. What can I sell for 50? And that and that. Sure. Alright. Thanks, bud. Alright, let's remember to equip our upgrades. So we got new legs for you. 3% dodge. Very good. Got a dwarven dagger and a second dwarven dagger. Let's pop a rune into that bad boy. Oh, we did already have a rune. That's fine. Oh, we also have a level on you. Let's just slap that into Huntsman. Give you some more points in finesse. And wasn't there one more thing I wanted to do? Oh, yes. We should be able to pick up Tactical Retreat. Martha's axe looks serviceable. And now she has two movement skills. Well, three. Excellent. Tactical Retreat is really good, so can't have that too much. Let's pop back to Fort Joy really quick and upgrade our daggers. Let's actually just take that with us back to this town over here. Oh, please tell me this will work. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I forgot to get the waypoint and I thought I was going to have to run all the way back. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Combine that with our poison. And that. And nice, we got some solid daggers going on. Throw the barrel down. And let's talk to this last lady, and then we will get back to uh, more interesting gameplay. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. Yep. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? Uh, tell her you're a slave that got sick of licking her master's boots. I am pleased to see you've rid yourself of your chains. Your physical chains, at least. I am Gratiana, priestess of Armadia. It is a privilege to welcome you to her sanctuary from Gratis's vile swamps. Um... Ask who the goddess Amadia is. Amadia is the blessed mother of magic. All that use it can trace their skill back to her grace. This uh -huh. is her shrine. She has sustained me here for many years, even when the evils of Brachus's swamp threatened to drown me. Uh, tell me about Brachus. Is no more. Thank the goddess. It has been many centuries since he walked Rivalon, although he still casts a shadow over this land. He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast. He stole its source and left only death. On this island he built and tested his weapons. Oh. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly or died at all. Yeah, that's uh, that is true. 
Uh, Shudder, you've read accounts of the Source King. The tales do him no justice. He was cruel, greedy, and stripped this land of all life. He was truly a horror. Indeed, the Magisters have even taken Gracchus's worst tools. First, the purging ones, and now those shriekers. Without something more powerful than these sticks the Seekers are armed with, those crucified monstrosities will kill them to a man. Um, anything I can do to help? Their leader, Gareth, also demanded that I must do something. I argued against it, but he was very insistent. I told him of Brachus's cache of soul-forged weapons, arms not even the Shriekers could stand against. He ventured out to find them, but has not returned. Yeah, huh? I fear for these souls. If he has come to any harm in the marsh, without the wands he seeks, not one will escape this island. Uh, let's see if she has anything we want to buy. That's a decent necklace for Losa, but we can't equip it yet, so let's not worry about that. Uh, that's a good ring. Let's pick that up. So like, other than that, she just has some wands and staffs. The birds are asleep. Nothing else I'm interested in. We should be able to get rid of the last of this junk with her, or at least most of it. The nest, the potato peeler, these staves, crossbows. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Stabs, two-handers, blah blah blah. Got 500 left. Nice. Ugh, it feels good to get all this shit out of my inventory. Jar of mind maggots, you can't afford that shit. Alright. There we go. Alright, take my leave. Cool, cool. So, we need to save these people's leader, Gareth. Um, the leader of the Seekers. We need to acquire some purging wands so that we can get past the Shriekers. If I had a forge, I could do something. Maybe. And that's gonna be in Children our near future. Children and adults huddled together for warmth and comfort. You were a slave to the ancient empire not so long ago. Uh -huh. You had a taste for wine and ale, as well as a variety of other sensual pleasures. Life is a coffer replete with countless delights. Uh -huh. Your mind is empty as a new moon. Something seems to have cleared it out. Scrubbed the corners, bleached the holes. The nothingness is oddly comfortable. Huh. All right. Uh, there's a little beach area over here. Let's go explore, see if we can find anything fun. Oh, look at that inventory. Looking good. A little bit of gold, sure. I doubt. Nothing there. Something tells me there's a buried treasure chest around here. I just get that feeling. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Damn. Damn it. Damn! Alright. So if we want to rescue Gareth... I think he's up over here. So why don't we travel to the bridge and start looking for him. Yes. Oh, hello. Sore sound. The woman traces glyphs in the air. And you cringe, expecting a barrage of ice and fire. Instead, a bit of smoke sputters forth. 
She cries to the skies in frustration, in a recognizable rail thin rasp. Uh -huh. My lord, I've loved you. I've obeyed you. What's my sin? How long must I suffer? She sees you approach and punches her fist in your direction. Her face flushes red. It's her, the one that destroyed the ship to Fort Joy. It is her. You. You are my sin. Uh, who's your lord? He is the judge, and he has condemned your kind. I smell the stench of your guilt with every god's damn breath you take. She turns her head to the heavens once more. I offer this sacrifice to you. Return me to your side. Make me howl. Howl. Between us again. All right. So we gotta fight the uh, the sorceress bitch. Uh, Windigo. Actually hits kind of hard. That's just fine. Let's go ahead and tactical treat behind her. Go for a backstab. Let's do a flesh sacrifice. Rupture tendons. And Baka! Nice. You are gonna tactical retreat right on top of her and just kind of beat the shit out of her okay and we'll encourage well, that was fucking easy only ones looking for me but who is it and why to initiative on some finesse gloves. That might be an upgrade right there. One-handed axe. That could be an upgrade. Oh, this Fane's Mask of the shape -sh -sh Shapeshifter can turn you into any race in the game, which can be very, very useful in the right situations, but we'll come to that later. So those gloves are an upgrade, but uh, we don't want to take off our gloves of teleportation yet because it's a really good skill. Let's see. 11 to 12. Eh, I think I'm happy with the weapons we have on. What's this? I found something. What'd you find? Might be a slight upgrade, but meh. Some finesse boots. I think we're fine without those. But we can sell them. Looks like we have some unhappy looking undead up ahead. Give me that tooth. Ooh, a severed head. Hey girl, you wanna eat that? You were a genius maze builder. Clear of mind, sharp of wit. You built an invisible staircase. Useful to those who may find it. Huh. That's interesting. An invisible staircase. What's over here? I'll fight those undead next. Let's kill the sore sound. He's a bad dog. Ooh. Those dwarven daggers doing work. We're hitting pretty hard. Ah, there's some vines over here. Bypass those undead for now. Stop right there, sorcerer. Friend or foe? Uh, note that if you were her foe, you'd hardly admit it. She searches your face. A grin spreads upon her own. I suppose you're right. All right, then you can pass. But I suggest you don't. I suggest you turn around and head another direction entirely. Do you? Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Up there. It killed my friend. May have killed that magister too. I wouldn't tangle with it alone. Fact, I wouldn't tangle with it at all. All right. Thanks for the heads up. So that's a Shrieker. And, uh, yeah, don't fuck with Shriekers. They'll, uh, kill you, like, real quick. So they're, like, crucified sorcerers? That the Magisters have messed up 
and they'll just like insta kill you if you fucking if they look at you. It's pretty gnarly. Oh, what's this? I want to go look at this. All right, and that's Gareth right over here. Gareth is the one we're here to save. He's in this little fortress. So we're gonna pop in there in a moment and rescue him for the uh, for the seekers. But first, I wonder if that invisible staircase has to do with this. No. Can I teleport you up in there? Yes, yes I can. Ooh, epic legs? Those look like they might be intelligence legs, which is a little unfortunate, but what can you do? That's where you get the tyrant's boots, in case you're trying to get the whole tyrant set for whatever reason. Get out of there, girl. Let's see if those legs are any good. Where'd they go? They are intelligence legs. Bummer. And they are good. Bigger bummer. Oh well. Nothing for it. Oh. Ah. Big old boat. Alright, let's head up and save Gareth, shall we? Looks like there's some vines that we can use right here to get around the Shrieker. Come on, ladies. Waiting on you! See what we can do to help. Level are these guys? Level five. So this should be a bit more of a decent fight than we've been having. We're still a little bit over their level, but not quite so bad. Let's get you right there. can actually hit all four of them. I hate to use that and get no actual CC out of it, but just for the sake of doing AoE damage, it's kind of good. Let's charge through. We're not going to need to stun them. It'll be fine. And let's just end turn. There's Gareth, that's the boy we're here to save. He's a good one. Good chap, that Gareth. Uh, let's go for a tactical retreat. Let's take out this archer. Make sure we're in the pocket. Let's do a flesh sacrifice. Rupture tendons. And... And it's your turn again. Why don't we give Losa some buffs. Let's stab the chicken. Okay. I haven't adjusted to our damage yet, so <laughs> completely overkill it. just have you come over here. Let's just 
start beating our way through this guy's armor. Alright. Hey, nice jump. That was cool. What the fuck? Did you hit me with that? Maybe I'm confused, but it looked like he fucking hit Sybil with that. I don't know. I don't think that would happen. Whatever. Not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna finish off this lad. Let's just do a little encourage. dead. Let's get behind this bitch over here. So I guess, I guess Sawtooth always ignores armor? Or maybe there's just like a chance for that to happen? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that sometimes, but I like it. Right, that's a dead lad. And we'll get right in her face, so that if she moves, we will get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it's fine. Come on, Gareth. I'm coming for you. Okay. Way to help, bud. We're not out of the woods yet. There are more on the lower level. Aim for the archers. All right. Be warned, though. A crucified horror, a shrieker, waits outside. Do not venture too near it. Yeah, I know. Don't tell me things I already know, Gareth. Alright, so we've basically saved him at this point. There's some stuff to do in this tomb over here. Oh, wait. No, this is a, uh... Somewhere around here, there's a, a tomb that you can go into. Won't budge. But we don't need to go in there yet, because we need to get the skill blessed first. Otherwise, there's really no point. And Losa just got a level, so let's put some points into strength. And max out her warfare. Nice. Gareth! skill, my friend. Let's focus it on a righteous cause, shall we? Okay. So he wants to finish off these magisters before we've technically saved him. So let's do that. Alright, you are going to tactical retreat right there. Set you up for some nice attacks of opportunity. <laughs> turn. Uh -huh. Nice. Very nice. Gareth's gonna cast some shitty spells like he always does, rather than using that huge sword. Oh, hang on. He's using the sword. Good for you, lad. Losa, you are going to... Uh, attack the core retreat behind this chap. We're gonna backstab. Good damage. Backstab again. Some more AP. Let's go ahead and rupture tendons. And bakark. Good turn. Oh, you're still moving, right? I want to see how much damage uh, that combo is doing right now, so I'm not going to finish off the chicken. Let's actually blink behind this guy. 
start burning through that physical armor. Hit him with the sawtooth. The stupid chicken didn't move. Okay. I may be trying to force that combo too much. It might might really not be necessary. Let's go ahead and knock them down. Do a little AoE. Nice. Free attack. It's a cloak right over here. And doesn't look like I can get a backstab, but that's okay. We'll get him. Turning him into a chicken did fucking nothing. Definitely starting to think that combo is not worth the time. Hey, what's up, Patushis? Oh my god, who is excited for 7 Fast, 7 Furious? Uh, I, I'll, I'll watch it. I've never been a huge fan of those films. Like, I like Vin Diesel, but... Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Sounds like you're excited for it, though. That's cool. The Rock and Jason Statham are gonna be... Are gonna kiss in cars or something. What? <laughs> okay, now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. That's something I definitely need to see. Your courage in the face of danger is inspiring, my friend. Lucian guided your blows rightly. Yeah, he did. Got anything to sell? Ooh, whirlwind. Yes, fucking please provoke. I'll take that. Another battle stomp. I've been waiting for that. Enrage. Fuck yes. And very, very good. Okay, just got a bunch of shit that I want. Bunch of shit. That's kind of expensive, though. Let's see if we can dump any stuff on him. Uh, get rid of all of that. Get rid of that. Take these mind maggots. That or that. That or that or that or that or that or that or that. All right, about that ring upgrade, I need to equip that. I don't even know what these essences are for. I mean, crafting obviously, but I've never really used them, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Uh, yeah. I don't need all this stuff. Don't need these huntsman books. Don't need that. How much gold do you have left? 180. Don't need that. All right, that's good. Thank you. Appreciate it. His eyes travel from your face to your feet, then back again. Oh, dude, I will be thrilled to watch it never. <laughs> uh, there are ads for it everywhere, and yet everyone dislikes the franchise. Who was watching that crap? I don't know, man. I mean, I liked, on the Fast and the Furious thing, I liked the first one. It was cool. You know, cars, Vin Diesel, gangster shit. I was into it. But then I, like, I kind of fell off with the franchise, and I went back, and I watched, like, number, I don't know, like, five or six or something. And they were, like, driving, like, tanks out of airplanes, and I was just like, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like... <laughs> Maybe if I was a fan of the franchise, I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah, this is dope. But it, it was just too much for me. That kind of killed it. You're no magic too over the top. Judging from that collar around your neck, how'd you come to be here? Uh, you're a sorcerer, recently escaped from Fort Joy, and he is? Name's Gareth. I'm a seeker. I can give you shelter and hope. Oh, can you? Uh, I'm a millennial. I'm immune to hope, so good luck. <sighs> Uh, tell Gareth you'll take any help you can get, especially if it means getting off this a island. A wise choice, sorcerer. I'll mark a safe place on your map. Cool! I scan the horizon and then settle on yours. A moment passes. I can't stay. You shouldn't either. What did Lucian say? Ah, yes. Evil feasts on the indolent. Get yourself to safety, and soon. You'll always have a place at the Seeker's table. Thanks, bud. Oh! Another magical Dwarven Dagger. We've already got two, so... 
Uh, definitely don't want to replace our legs, so let's just take the bow and sell it, or the chest and sell it, I guess. Eh, kind of a shame of waste of a good potential quest reward, but that's okay. Let's see if these magister magisters have anything worth looting. And then I think we are going to call it there. I'm hanging out with a buddy in a little bit. And, uh, yeah. We rescued Gareth. I think that's a good point to wrap up the episode. There is a little dungeon down here, but that's something to deal with next time. Uh, you don't like the whole nukes with Tyrese and Ludacris trying to one-up each other? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't really given the series a fair chance, to be fair. I should probably watch them all if I'm going to judge, but uh, it's never really been something on my list to watch. But uh, guys, that is where we're going to call the stream for today. Uh, thank you all for chilling. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube in the future times, uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I love your faces. A stubble heart. And I will see you all here on Monday for some more shenanigans. <laughs> Boo, this guy has a life. Later, bud. Peace.